Hey guys, thanks for watching Circular Space. So today I'm very excited to introduce you guys this sake. I have a massive bottle right in front of me. Um, the reason why I'm super excited is because recently I found this sake and it immediately became one of my favorite sake and one of my team's favorite as well. Isn't that right? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah, so I thought this sake is very suitable for beginners and for those of you who've never tried sake before and I'll explain why. But first, this sake is called Modan Senkin Muku from Tochigi Prefecture and it's made in Senkin Sake Brewery. So I've actually never been to that sake brewery but I've seen videos of it on sake YouTubers channel and it looks beautiful and very friendly actually and very innovative because they make classic sakes that's been loved for many 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 years but also these types of modern sake and that's becoming more and more popular nowadays and I don't know if you know this but there's this sticker here a shake of rice and it says nama which means raw or live that means that many uh, various enzymes are still active inside so it's very important to have proper storage management so for that reason it's very difficult to export it overseas so actually personally I've never seen it overseas so whenever you guys have a chance to come to Japan, make sure you go to a sake shop or a restaurant or a bar that sells this type of sake and try it because you won't regret it. But anyway, come back! Mm. Just how I remember it. So the aroma, I think it's reminiscent of apples. And the flavor, I can taste. There's sourness and also sweetness, and it's very juicy. It's very easy to drink. So I need to be careful because I have this massive bottle right in front of me. This is 1.8 liters, but they also have 720 milliliter bottle. So if you want a, um, a party size bottle, get this one. But if you want a smaller one, just to try it, get the 720 milliliter one. Um, it has the same label so it's easy to find and if you like and save this video it will be much easier to find as well you can take a screenshot and just show the shopkeeper or show the video so they can help you find it and i hope you guys like this sake and please let me know um what you thought about it and if you want to hear more about other types of sake so just watch my other videos so anyway enjoy and come back